lending hand, support, lending hand. Somebody needs to be lifted up and his strength is not enough. Something needs to be done. That could be physical. It could also be spiritual. It could be financial. In fact, the Yorubas, they will always say that if you don't have someone to, 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 to be rich or to be wealthy with, it may take time before you can become wealthy. What they are saying is that if somebody is not there to really assist you, then it may take time before you can leave your cradle. Help is very, very important. Hardly can anyone in this life who tell stories of his life without linking up with one help or the other somewhere, sometimes. Even people that God has lifted up. So help is very, very important. Under the two broad heading, we have things in this world, several things going on. So we cannot count them. Some of them we don't even know. But you can put them under the platform of both positive and negative. The scientists made us to know, oh sorry, people make us to know that we have two forces. The forces of positive and negative. They are on the broad level. Whatever happens, you can position them upon the positive or the negative. And one thing is sure, the evil is negative. And more than 90% of what occurred daily is evil, is demonic, is satanic. Even when you are expected to have something positive, something that is meant for you, you need to struggle for it. Otherwise, the evil people, they will not allow that thing to get to you. That is, to even the little positive that we are talking about is also being contested by the darkness, the people in the world of darkness. As a prophet, I decree everything that devil has been contesting with you, my father will raise up from above to deliver it for you in the name of Jesus. The battle most times, because everyone that comes to this world, you have a battle or the other, even to battle with not just once, not just twice. And I'm not standing here to give you anything that will be horrific. But something that is sure. From the beginning of one's life, there is one battle or the other that you need to engage in. This morning I was just ruminating and I was thinking loud. In those days when we started primary school, secondary school, you know, class three in those days, you would do about 16 courses. We said, ah, ah. This was the most difficult of all the classes. That as soon as we leave class three, we go to class four in those days, we are going to have only eight courses or maximum of nine courses. Those of us who want to do additional mathematics. So we now said nine compared to 16. Uh -uh, you have a lot of things. So when we now got to class four, we discovered that even the eight courses or the nine courses we are doing, we had terrible things to contend with. And at that time, we began to look and some people tell us, don't worry, as soon as you finish, even if it is A level, you will go and do three courses there. Amen. They will even tell us, if you are doing courses at home, A level, you can do only two. Say, ah, instead of nine, two. So, we were hoping to get there. Some of us that went to A level, we discovered that even with our own three courses, our noses were coming out, drop of water, we're coming out of our noses, three courses, compared to the nine that we did from class four to class five. And then we started to hear again that when you get to university, you know, in A level, you do three courses, accounting, this, that, that, that. You can pick accounting alone. You can pick business administration alone. You can pick economics alone. So you are going to do only one course. Amen, somebody. So we're thinking that as we go along, we'll have things better, but they are not like that. So battle of life from one stage to another. And as you move up, you have something higher to contend with. And as you are praying and God is blessing you, God is loading you with 
even his gifts. You know, our teacher talk about the gift of God upon our lives, being baptized by the Holy Spirit. By the time you begin to be born for God or for Christ, you have a lot even to contend with because the kingdom of darkness will rise so much against you. They will be so mad at you. So at that level, you need to fight another battle. And you discover that when it's becoming overwhelming, you may not be able to fight the battle alone. Again, when it's even spiritual battle, there is no one that can successfully fight it. You need something at the spirit even to assist you. So help must come. I command in the name of Jesus, everywhere your hand is becoming weary. Spiritual help will come from above in the mighty name of Jesus. Shout your amen very well. I won't take your time, but the Lord has given me the grace to put all these things together. Yes, I have understood them by the reason of the grace of God. I need to pass them across to you. So that you know that when you are talking about help, you are talking about something that is very, very important. Sometimes you don't need, you may not need to blame people so much when they are looking for help anywhere at all costs because they are overwhelmed. I've shared my experiences with you more than two, three times, many, many times. I have looked for help too. Even when I was younger than this, I told you I was looking for help for people to sponsor me in my education. And I never got one, all true. I also told you several, even when I ran into a problem, I went outside the box looking for help. Because at that time, I needed help. At every time you need help, you are faced with battle. The battle, you didn't know what to do. The battle is so overwhelming, consuming you. And you have seen several persons that such battle have consumed in their lives. You say, no, I must not be consumed. So you look for help somewhere. I decree in the name of Jesus, everywhere you have looked for help and it's not the right way. The Lord will bring you to the way again in the name of Jesus. I was talking about people helping and all that. Look at what just happened or what we are passing through this pandemic now. You know what it must have caused a lot of people. Apart from the business people and all that. You may not, you, 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 you need to also believe with me. There are people that they will have entered into their glory. They will have entered into their, you know, quite a number of good things. But because of this, they cannot penetrate that. Do you know that there are people that they will have promised don't worry when it is March. I am going to give you so, so, so. There are people like that. There are people, they have done interview. They have been assured, don't worry. We are going to employ you. Come May, come April. Now nobody can talk about it. Do you know one thing? Number one, most people will not be able to get it. Even to the end of their lives. Most people will get it halfway. Most people, they will continue to push it forward push it forward. Now nobody knows the end of COVID-19. I decree in the name of Jesus a special arrangement God is raising for you and I in the name of Jesus. Shout your amen very well. Shout your amen very well. So you have help of man, you have help of God. That's another two broad way. You look for help from man, you look for help from God. Yes, people say, ah, God cannot descend and help you. I agree with you. But again, I've told us sometimes ago that God can send angel and the angel will come and dress as human being and come and help you. I know some of you may not believe that, but it's a possibility. But again, let's rest upon the fact that yes, God cannot descend to help you. He sends person. That means that by the time he's sending someone or sending a situation to help you, that means he is behind it. So that means that the whole thing is still originating from him. So meaning that whoever that is thinking that he can create help from somewhere or he can create an avenue even from where the help will come, then that person is fooling himself or herself. Severally, I've told you I have run after men and I've been disappointed. Severally, I've told you that no matter how that person is, the moment I run after him or her, I will get disappointed. I have told you. I tell you all this not because I want to deride an individual. No. But when I see people running after an individual, I see if that person is God, I cry in my heart. 
Because help of man is nothing. Can we start from this little portion of the Bible so that it will not be talk and talk alone? You know it. Psalm 121 verse 1 and 2. He said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which comes my help. We are talking about, oh God, our help. Amen. Verse 2 says, my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and the earth, including you and I. He was the one that made you. He was the one that made me. Help of man is there, but that is another help. Look at Psalm 91 that we ask you to read all over and all over again. You can read verse 1 and 2. He said, he that dwells, yes, go ahead, madam. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord. I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge. He is my refuge. He is my fortress. Oh my God. He is my fortress, my, my refuge. He my is God. my God. He In is him will I, I So that means that there is a provision somewhere. Provision of help. If you look at that version, if you look at that portion of the Bible, Psalm 91, you see a lot of help, help, help arrangements. Help. 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 Help shall come unto you in the name of Jesus. Shout your amen one more time. Today we are not, we, we, we are just bringing the help of man in for us to know that it is, it is, yes, well, 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 sometimes we can say it's an alternative, but it's not an alternative to even consider at all. It's an alternative that will fail and fail. We have seen situations, we are going to read one or two portion of the Bible where you have wars you, where, where you have people seeking help outside of God and what happened to them, then we look at those that seek help even from God and see what happened to them, but a quick one, if you look at the same psalm that we are reading, psalm number 20 verse 7 and 8, verses 7 and 8 verse, sorry psalm number 20 verses 7 and 8, read it yes Seven. seven, yes. Some trust in some chariot. Trust in chariot. And some in horses. Some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Uh -huh. But we will remember the name of the Lord but our God. But we will remember the name of our Lord our, our God. God. Yes. They are brought down. Definitely they are brought down. Yes. And falling. Uh -huh. But we are risen. We rising. We are we risen. Upright. And we stand upright. Amen, somebody. So, trust in chariots. They seek help in chariots and horses. The same thing you see in Isaiah chapter 31, talking about people that went down to Egypt to look for help. They look for help from chariots. They look for help from horses. They look for help from men. Because they thought that, yes, they could be helped through that Avenue, like I said, you see, when you are faced with situations, you can go looking for help anywhere because at that time you are completely down and you don't know what to do. But today, we are making you to know that the only person, the only avenue through which you can access help, and help is still there, is through God Almighty who created you. You see, is that the one that created the heaven and the earth, including you? Do you know that there is no, no time in your life, no matter how small that time is, is in the agenda of God Almighty? Everyone on this planet, Earth, I may not know how many of us, how many trillions, but everyone has his agenda in the hand of the Lord. God can talk about every one of us, even what we have done, what we have not done, what we are going to, what we, what we are going to do, what we will never achieve. God has the record. So he knows that at a time like this, there will be COVID-19. At a time like this, some people will be shortchanged because of this situation. He knows, he's aware. I remember one brother, he came, he said, look, he showed me a list. Before the locking down, he showed me a list. Just give me some money. In fact, he was talking with all authority. In fact, he came with two options. Before that time, he said there was one senator somewhere. 
said that man, they are perfected everything. He wanted some money so that he could give. Oh, God. Then at another time, he brought a list. One establishment in, in Ibadan here that has actually put his name. It's just a question of getting letter, letter of appointment before the lockdown. But where is he now? So what we are saying is that God is aware of all this. Even from ages and he will continue to because he has all the records. So he's the only one that when his help arises, of course nothing can stop it. Some of you that are directly listening to me, even watching online, you have enjoyed the help of God sometimes ago in your life. And if you think you have not, how many years have you been on the planet and every day you rise, you, you, you sleep and you wake up. You are not, you cannot wake up by yourself. Something help you to wake you up. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will receive more of that in the mighty name of Jesus. If you look at that Psalm 20 that we read 7 and 8, we can read 1 and 2 and see what is there. Yes. Psalm 20. The Bible says, The Lord hear you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend you. Send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. Zion is that place where help comes from. If you quickly check Psalm 46, you will also see there, God is our refuge. God is our strength. Is somebody reading that? God is our refuge. God is our refuge. A very present help in trouble. God is our refuge. A very present help in trouble. Yes. Therefore will we not we fear. Therefore we will not fear. Though the earth be removed. Uh -huh. And though the mountains be carried, carried into, into the, the midst of the sea. We will not fear because we have God standing there for us. Amen somebody. So I'm putting two things together onto you quickly because of our time. That of man, that of God. Let's look at 2 Kings chapter number 5. Let's see what happened. Naaman's case, Naaman's case. Naaman brought a letter and he went to the king instead of coming to God Almighty. 2 Kings chapter number 5, read from 6 to 10. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And he brought the letter. And he brought the letter. To the king of Israel. He took a letter from his king. And the king addressed the letter to the king. Of Instead of addressing the letter to the king of kings. And what was told to Naaman through that lad was that there is a king of king in Israel. That can cure him. That can assist him that can help him to take his infirmity away that is his leprosy but the king of this earth now wrote to the king of this heart again let's see what happened there yes now when this letter is come unto thee uh -huh. behold yes i am there with sent naman my servant it was the king of syria that was writing to another king now yes see, yes you leprosy. must assist this servant of mine to recover from his leprosy. Yes. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. When the king of Israel had read the, the letter. The king of Israel received the letter from the king of Syria mandating him to assist in curing leprosy. Uh -huh. That he rent his clothes. He rent his clothes. And said. Because he could not. Yes. Am I God? Am I God? To kill and to, to make kill and alive. To make alive. Yes. That this man does that this man does send unto me to keep I cannot do it. What man cannot do is easy for God to do. Children of God, this is time we are to wait upon him and to have hope in him. I decree in the name of Jesus, you will not fall out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I didn't hear your amen very well. Amen. I didn't hear your amen very well. Amen. Now read 2 Kings again chapter 6 verse 24 to 28. 2 Kings Second Kings. And it came to pass. Six twenty-four. Yes. And it came to pass. It came to pass. After this. After this. That they had a king of Syria. Uh huh. Gathered at his host. Uh huh. And went up. Yes. And besieged Samaria. Uh huh. And there was a great famine in Samaria. There was a great famine in Samaria. And behold. Behold. They besieged it. Uh huh. Until an half head was sold mm -hmm. for four score pieces of silver. Uh huh. And the four parts of a car. Yes. Of you, so if you look at that time, that, 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 that time was a serious time. There was a serious problem. 
So when we are having pandemic now, it's something that has happened before. It's something, it was something that has happened before. It's not just happening. People of God, they have experienced it before in their lives. It could be in another form, even greater than this that we are experiencing. You will see here, people started to kill their children and they began to eat. The situation of this nation will not get there in Jesus' name. Yes, go ahead. Verse 26. 26. And as the king of Israel was passing the by. The king of Israel was passing by. Upon the wall. Upon the wall. There cried a woman, a woman unto, cried him, unto him. Saying. Saying. Help. Help. My lord, O king. Help. He went to seek for help from the king. Yes. And he said. And he said. If the lord do not If the him, lord does not help you. When shall I help where you? Where will I get it? Out of the bound floor, Where will I get it? Or out of the Where bed? will I get it? The only one that can help you is what? God Almighty. Amen. I didn't hear people saying amen. Amen. But you see, in all these situations, God came. God came into their rescue. The one you just read last, within 24 hours. Second Kings chapter number 7. The prophet just came and said, hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord by this time tomorrow. So the Lord brought his help. The help that king cannot render, the Lord brought it. If you talk about that of Naaman as well, when the prophet of God heard that the king was crying and was tearing up his shirts, tearing up his robes, he said, send him to me so that he will know that there is a God in Israel. Send him to me. King, you need not to what you need to do is let's approach this issue with God. Verse number 8, 2 Kings chapter number 5. And it was so when Elisha the man of God had heard that the king of Israel had torn his clothes that he sent to the king saying, why have you torn your clothes? Let him come now unto me and he shall know that there is a prophet in, in Israel. Israel. Say amen to that. I don't know how many of you are rending your cloth because of what is going on. Thank God God said intercede concerning everybody's finances. I don't know how many of you are listening to me and the situation of rending cloth is going on in your life because of what is happening. I command in the name that is the greatest. God will arise to help you in the name of Jesus. You didn't shout that amen very well. Can you read that portion further for me? Let's see what God did there. Nine. Nine. So Naaman came with Naaman his horses. came with his horses. And with his chariot. Naaman came with chariots. And stood at the, the door chariot of the and house the horses of Elisha. that could not deliver him. Eh? And stood at the side of the side of Elisha. Yes. And Elisha sent a Elisha messenger. Elisha sent unto a messenger him, unto him, saying, uh -huh. "Go and wash go, in Jordan. Go, go and wash times. in Jordan seven times. And thy flesh shall come God again to thee." God took over what the king cannot do. That's God for you. What a whole king. The kings we are, we, are, we are talking about them here, they were big kings of those days. They were not just kings, they were like presidents. Powerful kings. But they could not do. Thank God sometimes when we pray, we say, what man cannot do? Tell me, what is it that man can do? I said, we are wasting our time at deceiving ourselves. I decree in the name of Jesus, help of God shall come for us in the name of Jesus. You didn't shout that amen very well. You didn't shout that amen very well. Naaman came back to give testimony, verse number 15. And he returned. And he returned. Yes. To the man of to God. To the man of God. He and all his he company. And, all his company and, came, and came. And stood before and him. Stood before and, him he said, and he said, Behold. behold now I know. Now there I is know no God that in there is no the God earth, in all the earth. But in Israel. But in Israel. Now, therefore, now therefore. I pray thee. I brought blessing for you. blessing of thy servant. What he has not been able to get from Doctors, professionals, what he has not been able to get from herbalists, what he has not been able to get from evil people of this world, within a tinkle of an eye, just go and dip yourself in Jordan River seven times, he was able to get it. So, and he came back because that, that was the right source. What I'm pushing across to you is that when you go to the right source, you will find the right help there. And the right source is God Almighty. 
God will come to your rescue. I pray as a prophet, God will come to your rescue. God that help Naaman will help you. In the name of Jesus. What is it that your own, I decree, God will help you in the name of Jesus. I said, what is it that is your own? God will help you in the name of Jesus. God will help you in the name of Jesus. Help of God will come for you in the name of Jesus. Whatever is standing between you and the help of God, the Lord will destroy in the name of Jesus. It is the time that God will arise to help you in the name of Jesus. Since there is no all that means again for you, God will arise in the name of Jesus. Since you have tried and tried and tried and you are not getting anything, God will arise to help you in the name of Jesus. 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 Do you know that there's a, there's, there's a time God can send up to you. It gets to a time. If you move with him very well, he becomes your help. At a time, you call upon him and he sends help. And at another time, if you can move with him, he becomes your help. The teacher was talking to us about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. When you are immersed in the Holy Spirit, when your identity is no more there, it is the identity of the Holy Spirit. It's not about you. He was explaining walking in the Spirit unto us. Walking by the Spirit. You are not the one walking. You have given your life out. Another life is playing in your life. He was talking about being moved. You may not even hear any voice. You may not even desire to do a thing. You just see yourself doing it. You are sitting down somewhere, the spirit will just move you. Not that you determine to do it. I just see yourself rising up where you are. And the spirit is leading you to a particular place. And when you get there, you see that there's something for you to do there. All these operations will be going on. You don't have any input in it at all. I remember sometimes ago, there was a program going on in this assembly. We just came back from Kaduna at that time. And that was the first Sunday. And the Lord led me to live where I am sitting here. I should go into the congregation. And I saw a woman. I have known her before that time. So she was pregnant at that time. You know what I asked her? I said, so you have not delivered you this woman. <laughs> Amen. I didn't know why I was asked to live where I was. I just left as if I just wanted to go out. I was passing. I saw her. I said, ah, come. So you have not delivered because she had gone over and over. I think at that time it should be more than 10 or 11 months. And herself and her husband, they don't have money. They cannot go to the hospital. And the Lord took her through me. I just took her out of the service. I brought her into the vestry here. I said, today you must deliver. Amen. It was not me working at that time. It was God Almighty. And that same day, I think before the end of that week, the Lord delivered her. And she brought out the baby. You see, when you, you see, that, 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 that when, when, when it gets to a time in your life, God becomes your help. Before you call upon him, he answers you. What you don't even think you need is bringing it up unto you. You need to move unto God, move with God at that level. But only at a point like this. And I decree in the name of Jesus, it will take you there in the mighty name of Jesus. You are not shouting that amen very well. Go to this second Chronicles. Let's see. Let's see the help of man. Let's see the help of God there unto that king. Second Kings chapter 14 that we read today. Chapter 14. We are going to start from verse number 9. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 14. Start from verse number 9. Yes. And there came. And there came. Out again. Came out against Sarah them. Sarah the Ethiopians with an host of a thousand. Thousands of thousands. And three hundred chariots. Three hundred chariots. And yes. came out to Marazah. Yes. Then. Yes. Asa went out against him. Esa only had three hundred thousand. But these people came against him with thousands of thousands. Yes. Then Esa came out with him. Esa came out. Yes. And they said, uh -huh. the battle in Aram in the valley of Sarephath of Marathon. When help of God is for you, it takes up your battle. Yes, go ahead. Eleven. Eleven. And Esa cried unto the Lord. Esa cried unto the Lord. Is God. Yes. And said. Esa said. Lord. Lord. It is nothing with thee to help. It is nothing with you to help. Whether with many, whether with many, or with them that, or with them that have no power, help 
us. Help us. Oh Lord our God. Help us. Yes. Oh Lord our God. Yes. For so we rest on We you. rest on you. And in thy name we go again. That this is we multitude. trust in you. This level is more than the level of faith. We rest on you. Meaning that we trust in you. It's beyond having faith in God. Yes. Oh Lord, uh -huh. thou art our God. Uh -huh. Let not man prevail man against Man must thee. not prevail against you. So, um, so I, the I told you about the brother that went to U.S. Embassy. He said, he saw so many people. <laughs> Maybe he had not gone before. He said he saw so many people on the queue. He saw the number that he was. And that was not only that. When he entered eventually, those of you who have gone there before, have gone there before. When he eventually entered, he saw as many as possible that were before him being rejected. According to him, none. The moment he entered that house, none of the people that were coming there were being given. I told you now. I said he just said he picked his uh, handkerchief and I said, God, I think you will not come here to disgrace yourself. So, Asa turned the battle unto God. He said, man must not prevail over you. Yes. Twelve. Twelve. So the Lord spoke the Ethiopians. The Lord defeated the Ethiopians before Asa. Before Asa. Before Judah. That his help came unto Asa and Judah. And the Ethiopians. Help led. of the Lord. Let somebody say, help of the Lord. Say it again. Say, help of the Lord. Listen to me. When I discover that I have God that can help me, I am always very elated. There is nothing you come to talk to me about. For example, yes, I can have a feeling for you as a woman being, but I always have one thing that is greater than my own feeling. That is, I have somebody who can make that problem that you have to be resolved immediately. God Almighty. I decree in the name of Jesus. It will help you and I in the name of Jesus. You are not shouting that amen very well. So help came unto Asa because he believed the only place he could get help is God. He went to God and God did not disappoint him. May I also say that anyone who relies on God for help cannot be disappointed. Amen. You are not shouting the amen very well. I will close very shortly. I know your time is somehow. Now, let's look at the assurance of him. You see, if I'm asking you to trust in him, to go to him for help, let's even see whether, apart from the fact that I've shown you somebody that went to him, what are the assurances? Is he having provision? There are provisions for help, like I told us, Psalm 91. There are assurances that whoever comes looking for help, that he is ready. Can we look at about two or three? Isaiah 44. Isaiah 44 verse 2 to 3. Assurance of help of God. Or help from God. Or God our help. Yes, Isaiah 44. Uh-huh. That made thee. Yes. Thus said the Lord that made thee. Yes. And from thee from the womb. Uh -huh. Which will help thee. Uh -huh. Fear not, O Jacob my servant. And thou... Wait, Jesus. wait, let me read from here. You are reading as if you are singing, uh, you are singing at uh, the priest. Thus says the Lord that made you and formed you from the womb. Who will help you? Fear not. That is the God that made you, that formed you in your, in your mother's womb, the one that will help you. He says, fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and you, Jeshu, whom I have chosen. Verse 3 says, For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon my descend your descendants and my blessing upon your offspring. Assurance. 41. Isaiah. Read from verse 10 to 16. Assurance of hell. 41. 41. Fear thou not. Fear not. 
For I am with thee. I am with you. Be not dismayed. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. I am your God. I will strengthen thee. The Bible says, I will strengthen you. Ye. Yeah. I will help. I will help you. Yeah. Yeah. I will uphold, I will thee uphold with you. The right with the right hand of, right of my righteousness. Yes. Behold. Behold. All they that were in sin. Yes. Against this shall be ashamed. Yes. And confounded. Yes. They shall be as nothing. They shall be they as nothing. With thee and they that strive with perish. you shall perish. Yes. Thou shalt seek them. You shall seek and them. And shall not find you them. You will not find them. Even them that contended with thee. Uh -huh. They that war against thee that war shall against be you, as nothing. They will be as and nothing. And as a thing of no. Uh -huh. 13. Yes. For I the Lord thy God will hold thee with thy right hand. Uh -huh. Saying unto thee. Fear not. Fear not. I will do I what? Will help thee. I will help you. Yes. 14. 14. Fear not. Uh -huh. Thou womb Jacob. Uh -huh. Ye men of Israel. Yes. I will help thee say the Lord. Ha. And thy re redeemer. Ha. The only one of Israel. Ha. Behold. Behold. I will make thee a new sharp treading instrument yes having teeth uh -huh. thou shalt thresh the mountain yes and beat them you small, will beat them small and shall make the hills as sharp verse 16, 16. yes thou shalt find them uh -huh. and the wind shall carry them away uh -huh. and the wild wind shall scatter them, scatter them and you shall rejoice in the lord and you shall glorify and shall glorify say the amen to it everybody Israel. 43 1 to 2 yes 42, 42, I read from here. But now, thus says the law that created you, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Verse 2 says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, neither shall the flame scorch you. You know these promises are meant for you. If you know that, say amen. amen. I didn't hear people saying amen. amen. I didn't hear you saying amen. amen. So when God is helping you, 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 have, you have seen assurances, we can look at scriptures, several of them. When God is helping you, your enemies, those who are attacking you, will just be ranting. Their shout will be like that of a dog that is barking. By the grace of God in this assembly, some of you will still remember one of two of these things. We have seen people that have come. They will just come here. They came to destroy this place. And they brought all manners of techniques and all that. But we rest upon God at all times. What some people will bring will be so much that they, they, before you know it, they begin to they, be, they began to bring people to themselves and all that. That's why after now when I see some people, I just laugh. When I see people doing some conny conny things, I just laugh because I know that we have help, and our help is God Almighty. If it is by the reason of what is here, then anybody can come and take over in terms of diabolical means. But it's in terms of God Almighty who established this place. It's by the power of God upon which we rest. It's by the power and his name and his word that we do not intermingle with anything. We have decided we will not bring anything into it. So if anybody is coming with all sorts of whatever, it can be he can do that for a while but before you know it when the help of God comes the person will be disgraced we have seen several even in this place as small as this place is so when you are having the help of God when you are enjoying it your enemies will only be ranting if you look at the book of Isaiah chapter 36 you look at chapter 37 you will see a king Sennacherib ranting and ranting for the whole of chapter 36 of Isaiah that is 1 to 21 Sennacherib was ranting was talking about his power and how he would do unto Judah and Hezekiah for a whole chapter, excluding only one verse. He was just talking. He hired people to go and speak even different languages for people to hear that he was coming to overrun them. But he failed because Hezekiah took the matter. He took the matter to God Almighty and he took only God. He took God only one night to send just one angel 
that killed 185,000 soldiers only one night. It took God only one night. And it took him only one angel. He told Ezekiah, he said, you will not need to fight. Just rely on me. I will help you. Okay, look at this. Look at the Isaiah chapter 37. Look at from verse 33. Isaiah 37. Isaiah 37. Look at it from verse 33. Yes? 37. 33. Are you there? Therefore, thus said the Lord, uh -huh. concerning the king of Asherah, uh -huh. he shall not come, he into, shall not this come city, into this city. Nor shoot an arrow. He there, will not shoot an arrow. Nor come before we shoot. Uh -huh. Nor cast a bank against thee. Nothing, yes. 34. Uh -huh. By the way that he came. By the way that by he the came. Same shall he by return, the same way he will return. shall not come into this city. Yes. Saith the Lord. Uh -huh. For I will defend this city. To save it for my own sake. I will own help sake. this city. I will defend this city. Yes. For my own sake. Uh -huh. And for my servant. 36. 36. 36. Then the angel of the then Lord. Then the angel of the Lord went forth. forth. Yes. And smote in the camp Struck of the Assyrians. In the camp of the Assyrians. A hundred and four score and five thousand. And, and when thousand, they early in the just morning. Just one night. Behold. They were all dead. Help is coming for you in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear your Amen. Quickly, what do you do to enjoy? To enjoy the help of God. What do you do? Let's start from the portion of the Bible that happened to be a lesson for today. Second Chronicles chapter 14. I so much. Let's start from verse number one. Let, let's see what happened there. Oh, start from verse number two. Second. second. And Esa did that which was good. I want you to note all those things. To enjoy this great thing that is help of God. And Esa did that which was good. Which was good. Mm -hmm. And right in the eyes of the Lord. That which God. was good and right not in the eyes of man. But right in the eyes of God. When you go to any assembly and the assembly is playing to the gallery by dancing to the tune of men the men could be men that are riches. I mean, that are so rich and wealthy. The assembly will soon collapse. When you go to a ministry, and the ministry is being directed by men, just because they have influence, then the ministry is heading to, is heading towards a great collapse. So, but when you rest upon God, and you do what is right, whether people see it as right or wrong, it doesn't matter. The Bible says, Esa did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and what God. was good. Yes. For he took away the, he altars, took of the, away the altars of the foreign gods. That's another thing. Oh, this is one of the things that was good in the sight of God. Yes. And the high places uh -huh. and break down the images. He broke down images. And cut down the He cut down the idol poles. Yes. And commanded Judah he to seek the Lord. commanded Judah to seek the Lord. God Look at that. Their father. Uh -huh. and, to, and to do the law and the commandments. He commanded his subject. You must, you must, you must do the commandment of God Almighty. Yes. And he took away out of all the cities of Judah, uh -huh. the high places and the images. Uh -huh. And the kingdom was quiet before Oh him. my God. Yes. Six. Six. And he built fences cities. He built cities Fortified cities in Judah, yes. In Judah, for the land had rest, uh -huh. and he had no war in those years, uh -huh. because the Lord had given him. Rest. Read verse seven quickly. Therefore, yes, he said unto Judah, he said unto Judah, let us build this let city, us build this and cities. make about this wall. Let's so make about gates, them walls, uh -huh. gates and bars, and towers, the and land is yet before all. Yes, because we have sought the Lord our God. Yes. We have sought him, he was, and he has given us rest he was on doing every all, side. He was doing all this by the direction of the Holy Spirit. And when you look at the end of that verse, he said, So, so they, they built, built and, and prospered. Do you know that? Yes, we are going to pray today, and we are going to continue to pray for help. Do you know that in most of the time, you may not need to pray for help at all? Once you do what you are expected to do, when this portion was being read today, and I, 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 I saw this, this portion that I just showed to us, I said, ah, ah, there's no way God will not help such a person. There's no way God will not do what? Will not help such person. 
that has done all this, that has done things to favor God alone, that has removed idols, that have set idols a place, that have built fences and all that and all that to protect the place of God Almighty. Do you know that some people, by what they do, they are removing the fences. They are even removing pillars. Some people in the church of God, they are caterpillars. They destroy. They gather together somewhere to say all manners of things to destroy. So, instead of them building fences, they are removing the fence that has already been built. That's what some people do by their actions. So, there's nobody that has done what this man did that God will not help. So, we can pick quite a number of things there. Number one, he did what is right in the sight of the Lord. So, for you to enjoy help of God, you must do that which is right and which is good not in the sight of men, but in the sight of God. You know why I'm emphasizing men? Because you are a meet men. And they can influence you so much. Number two, he removed the altars of the foreign gods. So from your heart, you must take foreign gods away from your heart. It is only God alone you must celebrate. If there is any high places where you still go to look for help, you must remove them. You can't combine the two together. It's not possible. It will not work. Yes, we have one, somebody somewhere. I don't want to mention anybody's name. And you are still coming to God Almighty. God will be looking at you and saying, this one does not know what he wants. So he will keep quiet and begin to look at you. And because he doesn't want anybody to maintain anything with him, he will make that one not to work. I pray God will help you in Jesus' name. If you look at that lamentation, he say it is it is good it is good to hope and wait upon the Lord. Lamentation chapter three verse twenty five to twenty six. He say it is good, it's good, it's, that's the best. So another point is that you need to hope in Him alone, and you need to do what to wait upon Him. Daniel chapter eleven thirty two b. That's another point. You need to know this God. Those that know their God, they shall be strong. They go ahead to do exploits. Another point is you must rely on, you must lean upon him. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. You must lean on him. He must, you see, when God is passing instruction, instruction of God is not for you to begin to say, how does it look like? Most times the instruction of God may not look like anything unto you, but God is better than anybody. Another point that can make you to enjoy is to inquire from him at all times. Daniel chapter 2 verse 15 to 16 when everybody was being killed Daniel asked, Let, just give me time I want to go and inquire from God I know he will show it to me when you inquire from him he will tell you what to do then help will come then you know Moses did that so much David also did that so much why? because they relied and they trusted in God Almighty another point, don't know too much Rely on the word of the Lord alone. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. Jesus said to that man that was taking him from one point to another. He said, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word. Every word. You don't isolate the word of God. You don't isolate one of them. Every word that comes out of the mouth of God Almighty. Some people they separate. I'm going this way. Ah, this one is too much for me. I will not do. Then that means you are not ready. Another thing is that you run away from sin. Just like we have shown to us in the second Kings chapter number second Chronicles chapter number 14, verse 2, verse 3, that Esa removed all those sins. So you must remove sin from your heart. Another point, you must be a child of God indeed. A child of God indeed. We have been hearing born again. It's not just an appellate. It's not an appellation. It's something you need to attain. At that point before you call upon the name of the Lord is there for you and it continues to be your help and I pray in the name of Jesus it will be your help from today in the name of Jesus I don't know how many of you are ready you are ready for God to be your help I declare a new dawn for you in the name of Jesus if you are ready and you say you are ready I declare a new realm unto you in the name of Jesus and I command in the name of Jesus you begin to step into a new thing in the name of Jesus are you ready? Your battle is being taken over right now in the name of Jesus. 
I decree also if you are ready that you will not be confounded in the name of Jesus. And as you are ready, I decree you shall not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. How many of you are ready? I say God will help you in the name of Jesus. How many of you are ready? I say God will answer your prayers. As you pray, he will answer you. How many of you are ready? I say it shall be well with your soul. So shall it be in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Rise up on your feet and say your final amen. amen. Say, Father, help me in the name of Jesus. Turn it to prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are going to raise altar of prayer three points. Then I leave you to the rest. God help me, God help me. God be my help, God be my help. In the name of Jesus. That's the first point of prayer or the first prayer point. Answered prayers, answered prayers is when God is helping you. Your helplessness, when you bring it into a place of prayer, God will take it up. When he takes it up, there will be answered prayers. So the prayer we are praying is that God help me. So that means that this cut across every facet of your life. Say, God help me. Be my help as from today, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. One more minute, open your mouth and say it. Those of you in your homes, join us to pray this prayer. Three, we are going to give unto us. Then I will leave you to the rest. You need to pray tonight as you go to sleep that God must arise to help you. Even now that the lockdown is being easing up, if we must not contract this COVID-19 and God must make this lockdown be easing out not to be another trouble upon us. Say, God, help me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Second prayer point, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I call upon you, answer my prayers. Lift up your voice and pray. I am connecting you to Psalm 121 now. I am connecting you to Psalm 121 now. Say, God, as I raise my voice to pray to you, answer me in the mighty name of Jesus. Today's team is a team of prayer. It's a team that is there to lift up your spirit. It's a team of waiting upon the Lord. It's a team that is all encompassing. It's a team that you cannot trash, you cannot complete as far as the whole month is concerned. It's a team you continue to ruminate over it. So open your mouth as I call upon you, O oh God. Answer me in the name of Jesus. You are connected to Psalm 121. I will look up unto the hills. We are coming, my help. Father, answer me, and so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say finally. Say it. Say finally. Now, number three, say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say everything that is prevailing over me. Say from today in the name of Jesus. Raise your help and prevail over it. Lift up your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus, everything, every negativity, every battle that is prevailing over me or that has been prevailing over me, oh God, I pray that you raise your help now in the name of Jesus and prevail over it and so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The last one is did Father make me a candidate of help? Let me be fit to be someone that will receive your help. We have told you what to do, but pray the prayer again. Father, let me be fit. Can't me, can't me worthy of your help? Can't me worthy of somebody that you are going to be his help? Even from today, in the name of Jesus, and so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So shall it be in the name of the Father, and the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Bring out your water and let's sanctify it. Just open it and ask that the Lord will release his auction upon it. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, as I leave this unto you, O God, I ask that you sanctify, release your auction unto it now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. May the Lord answer your prayers in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Finally, the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. You are qualified for his help and he will help you. This week, he will help you. This month, he will help you. This year, he will help you. Even in this terrible period, he will help you. In the name of Jesus. God will fortify your city against evil, against diseases, 
against virus in the name of Jesus. It will fortify your city. It will fortify your finances. Encroachment into your finances, it will stop in the name of Jesus. Encroachment into your life, it will stop in the name of Jesus. Encroachment into your success, it will stop in the name of Jesus. I say it again, God will help you in the name of Jesus. As many times as possible, you cry out unto him, he will answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. And as you will be going out, as from Monday, I decree in the name of Jesus, he will surround you with the pillar of fire in the name of Jesus. As we have prayed concerning your finances, you will begin to see the result in the name of Jesus. In all of these things, you will have your testimonies. I say you will have your testimonies. God will help our leaders. I say God will help our leaders. All these that they are doing, I pray in the name of Jesus, it will bring positive results in the name of Jesus. They will not regret this action in the name of Jesus. God will help this nation. God will help the whole world. And it will come against COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord God alone shall be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have decreed. Amen. Amen. Can we return every glory to God Almighty? Thank him. Daddy, I thank you. Glory be to God Almighty. Daddy, I bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for strength. Thank you for your word. Blessed be unto your holy name. Thank you for those that link up. Thank you for everybody. Thank you for what is going to manifest even after this word. What has manifested that we are going to begin to see. We want to thank you for all of them. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Now and forevermore. Amen. Say surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives. Dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah! Oh, Sana! 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 Oh,